Hello, this is Casey from the iLog channel, and welcome to a new series. This is my vanilla Minecraft survival series. This is just going to be a plain old world, no game rule changes, no experiments or data packs, just a random world, random seed. I'm iffy on the bonus chest, but I'll leave it off, I think. And of course, this world will need a name. I think Vanilla Ice Cream. Which is, of course, um, absolutely hilarious. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, Vanilla Ice Cream, my Vanilla Survival Series. Let's do it. And here we are. Ooh, let's let the world load in a little bit. Oh wow, looks like we're on a mountain. Okay, are we actually in a mountain biome? We're in a forest, okay. This is just a very high up forest. I see some snow over there. Nice uh, taiga over there, that's good. Wow, a snowy taiga and a taiga just in a mega taiga biome out there too. Interesting, I like this. This is good. Uh, some peonies down there. That could be something, I think. I'm not quite sure what I do with that, but I like it. So I'm gonna... Oh man, there's like a whole lake here, actually. I want to incorporate, I think, this whole... Uh, what, what, what would you call this? Uh, I guess a valley? Um, yeah, a valley. I don't know if it's, I don't know if you call it a different thing, if it's got a water in it, but I, I want to do something with this valley. I think this is where I'll set up. I always love it when uh, there's a good spawn, a good area where you, where you know you can put a base. Um, How many sheep are around here? Because I see we have some sheep. And with how mob spawning works, I, the chances that more, okay, there's at least three. Then, in fact, I'm going to do a little moita laden here. I could probably... Oops. There we go. I could probably build an axe first before I go and kill all these sheep. But I do want to be able to make a bed as soon as possible. So, I'm sorry, sheep. But you're going to have to die a little bit here. I'll hold on to these seeds. I'll actually probably need some more. I am going to want to farm some wheat eventually. And what's up here? A meadow. Ooh, pretty. A donkey. Is that a baby donkey? It's a baby donkey. Okay. All right. Ooh, and a big mountain over there. And some pumpkins. Uh, I like pumpkins. That'll be good. Hmm. Okay, I don't I don't mind this area. This is a nice little um I'm sure there's some kind of technical name. Me and my uh absolute lack of knowledge on geographical terms, but this little divot here in the in the land, I like this surrounded by the hills. I'll do something with that. I always like areas that are like indented into the ground, like that valley over there, this right here. Something about the natural framing of the land up around it really uh, really looks good. So I did see there was a red poppy down here somewhere. Where did I spawn? <laughs> right down there. I'm going to take that. I'm instantly going to make some red dye uh, for when I make my first bed. Um, I usually like to make my first bed red, you know, hearkening back to the old days of Minecraft. And now I guess we'll start uh, punching some wood. I feel like I went kind of out of order. Usually I start with punching trees, but uh, those sheep, I had to get that wool. So here we go. All right. Let's get... 
some nonsense going here. Uh, do I want to do a, an axe first or a pickaxe? I'll do an axe first. Because I actually, I don't see any... I didn't see any, like, direct cave entrances. There was, like, a little stone thing up in the meadow. But I'm not sure how soon I'll be able to get iron. Though I am at a higher elevation. 113, 114, so... Coal shouldn't be too hard to come by, hopefully, uh, if I find some stony patches up here. Get these leaves going. I like to help them along a little bit, increase uh, the rate at which I'm going to get some saplings. All right, those leaves are gone. Next thing I want to do make a bed there we go the classic og red bed all right now i'm trying to think where i want to put this starter home whatever that ends up being oh there's a little frozen inlet down over there is that all ocean out there i don't know <laughs> hmm who knows? I'll have to go exploring out there eventually. I don't know if I want to start with exploring out there first. Just because I think I'd rather focus on setting up a little hideaway up here or something. Though I do want to see if there are any villages. Hey there. Sorry about killing your friends. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to focus on this area first. Hmm. Do these lead anywhere? Potentially. Um, all right, I'll give it a shot. Some egress. All right. And, okay, there's coal. Iron? No. And I thought I saw another little stony thing over here. Nothing. Okay, well... And down here, oh, it's flooded, uh, but there's some more coal. Oh, and some magma blocks. Well, if I ever need those, I'll probably forget this is down here. <laughs> Let's start getting some stone and coal then. These early days of survival are always kind of not the most fun, but it's always nice because there's always just kind of like there's a process to it. You know, you're not quite doing the creativity stuff yet and you're just just running on what you know what to do. You know, get coal, get stone, try to find some iron, you know, chop down trees, try to <laughs> try to get a bed. I actually got pretty lucky. Usually it takes me a bit longer to uh, find some sheep, but I was fortunate to spawn right next to some. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I I don't want to venture down there. <laughs> not yet, anyway. Maybe not ever, because I don't picture myself staying in this area too long. I really want to do something with that valley. So let's sprinting too much don't want to let that hunger get too low but i'll definitely need to focus on uh cooking up some of that mutton that i got as soon as i can at this high of an elevation i feel like i'm unlikely to find like an actual like cave entrance that'd really be better if i was down on a plains and I am on a plains, but I'm at 115. <gasps> Cherry blossoms! Oh my god. Oh my god! Ooh, pillager outpost. Okay, I can't believe I found an outpost before a village. Jeez, this is gorgeous! This whole area, this seed! Okay. Ooh, cave entrances like that single lonesome little tree with a bee hanging around it. There might be a hive on there. 
Ooh, and a nice little smattering of flowers around it. Okay. Pillagers. God, that's a great spot for a pillager outpost. Small little cherry, not too small of a cherry blossom biome. I like the grass color in the cherry blossom biome. Ooh, let's, uh, let's get this going. <laughs> Before I completely screw myself over and get attacked by mobs. Oh, man. Okay. Now I don't know where to start. Usually, I tend to prefer flatter, lower down areas. If I don't get something like that, I'll usually remake the survival world uh, when I'm playing on my own. But this, oh man, I mean, there's potential here. There's really something, something going on. It's, it's actually a bit overwhelming. I'm a bit overwhelmed because I know there's that valley near all the taigas that I want to do something with. But I also want to do something with all this. Is that a big chunk of, of ice? I think that's what that is up there. Big chunk of ice up on the uh, top of that mountain. Hold on, let's, let's get a little bit cheeky. Let's get a little bit cheeky. Yeah. Is that um, packed ice or, uh, or blue ice? No, that's packed ice. Okay, I, I know what I'm talking about. I've only been playing this game for... 12 years, I think I remember what packed ice looks like. Though, I haven't seen it in a while with these textures. I've got a, um, a texture pack on. I guess I'll, I'll disclose this in the first episode. Uh, it's a Programmer Art Ultimate. It's really nice. It uh, just brings up all the newer textures into the Programmer Art style. I've been enjoying it lately. Don't know if I'll keep it on for the whole series, um, but I feel like now that I've done it in the first episode, I have to commit, but I don't know. I may change resource packs a couple times in the series. I tend to get kind of um, indecisive when it comes to the resource packs. I tend to swap between quite a few. Hello, little chicken. Yeah. All right, well, what do you think I should do? <laughs> where, should I, where should I put my starter home? Yeah, I mean, I guess that could work. Oh, well, okay. All right, then. They weren't much help. Hmm. This is the tricky bit. I usually... I mean, there's a forest here. I actually want to not build in the forest, because then I have to chop down a bunch of trees to make space. There are oh, this little mound here. This little mound here could be something. I'd like to at least have something set up in this first episode, so I don't want to take too long. Hello. What are you? Probably flooded as well. I can't quite see. Ooh. Oh, poor little pig trap down there. Hmm. Okay, I need to stop sprinting. I'm using up way too much hunger. Hmm. Okay, and what's in this direction? I guess before I decide on a starter base, I should get my bearings. So, oh, wow. Oh, it's a totally closed off lake. It's not even connected to anything. Wow, this is, this is gorgeous. Sometimes I miss the, the weirder days of Minecraft terrain generation, the, the, the floating islands, the little more abstractness. But I mean, there's just no denying. This is just gorgeous when you get into these really like new mountainy areas. Oh, just amazing. Just amazing. And I, I don't, man. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. This is, I thought this first episode, oh, this is going to be easy. I'm going to make a starter base. I'm going to, you know, do all the normal first day survival things. And I feel like I'm just like, where do I start? What do I do? But, you know, I'm going to take it, uh, one day at a time, one one block at a time, you know? Because that, that's the goal with this series, is to just be slow and laid back. This is not a fast-paced challenge. So uh, I'm going to try to keep that in mind and really just try to follow my heart when it comes to what I'm going to do with this world. 
because I want this to be a, a long running series. Preferably, I mean, to, you know, presumably, there is no end in mind. I'll just keep working at it until I stop. Either out of boredom or who pushed me? Excuse you. Hmm. I was really hoping I'd find some more iron down here, but uh, it's starting to look like it's just coal, which you know, tracks for the elevation. So not too surprised there. Hmm. Okay. Another big hole. Oh, wait, is this where I stepped earlier? This is where that pig was trapped, right? I look down from there, blocking. Yeah, and there's a pig. That pig. Cool. So I know where I am. Oh, just one. All right. Hmm. I may just focus on some resource gathering. Oh, 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 you were trying to hide from me. A little piece of iron. All right, let's get a stone pick. Go in here. How much durability is left? Five. Let's get rid of this wooden pickaxe. Ooh, or should I keep it? Nope. <laughs> All right, eight pieces it looks like we're gonna get. Hey, hey. Hmm. Your lucky pigs don't drop any like other items than just pork chops or you'd be gone. I tend to not farm pigs usually cause they don't, they don't do anything. Cows give you leather, sheep give you wool. Chickens give you eggs and feathers. Pigs? You just meet. Oh, but you are adorable. You are so cute. I'm not going to kill you. You are adorable. Yeah. Are you, are you kissing me? Okay. Yeah, a little kiss. Okay. Hmm. What to do now? All right. I want to find an area with some trees. It's not too dense because I don't want to have to clear up a bunch of extra trees just to get the leaves to start despawning. And uh, this little area, I could knock out all the trees here, actually. If I break here, 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 there, there. Does that follow the contour of the rest of the tree? Looks fine. Then I can chop this down. I can chop most of these down. And that should get me on a good place to have some wood. I can at least build something. Something useful. Oak, birch. Birch is always a nice accent. Wood. I think I'll go... Hmm. This is the smallest large tree I've ever seen. I've n Usually they're like this. I've never seen one that just cuts off here with one branch. Interesting. All right, great. Now we can let these leaves start despawning. I think in the meantime, I'm going to make a furnace, cook up some of this mutton, cook up some of this iron. 30 coal. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's start with the mutton. All right, that leaves us with 21 coal after some cooking, eight iron, some cooked mutton, got some torches going. I think I'm going to try to do some resource acquiring. I found this little hole down here. Whew, it's kind of deep. Deeper than I'd like. I'd like more of a flat entrance. Oh, and it doesn't look like it goes very far. 
Though I do see light. Ooh, and I see dripstone. Dripstone's good. Hmm. Well, all right then. I think in the meantime, I'm going to gather some resources and take the time to also gather my thoughts and really figure out what I want to do with this area. And uh, then I'll be back, hopefully with some uh, some more thoughts and resources. There we go. Thoughts and resources. There's the title of the episode. I will be back in what shall be for you just a moment. All right. So I have gathered my thoughts and some resources. Um, got some more coal. Uh, just a just a ton of copper. Um, feel like I kind of wasted uh, a <laughs> little bit too much pickaxe durability getting all this copper. Uh, this is this is like my third pickaxe here. So uh, fourth actually, because there was a wood one, two stone ones, and an iron one. I blew through an iron pickaxe, mostly just getting copper. So I'm gonna try to be smarter about that. <laughs> I always find myself either picking up too much copper in the early game or not picking up enough and never being able to use it later on because I don't have a stash of it. So I thought I'll build up a supply and it was just way too much. There's just always too much copper. Did find some lapis though, so that's cool. And a bunch of dripstone, which very, very good. Definitely gonna use that for some lava farming eventually. Uh, and I've decided to make this little uh, area on top of this mound up here my little uh, home, little home base area. Uh, I just set up a small little wheat farm to try to get in some of these sheep around here because I definitely want to farm them for some wool. And then I think I'm going to build a sheep pen here, and then I'll put the main house thing around here. There was a dirt layer here that I cleared away, and I think this is where I'm going to put things. This is kind of a, a side note, but look at how deep blue the water in this um, meadow biome is. It's it's really nice, just a really deep blue. Alrighty here, so I want to get this sheep pen going, and do I want to use birch? Actually, I'm going to use the birch to turn into sticks since I don't know if I want to use birch in the palette for this house best I can do is turn it into some sticks and then I don't want to use up all these logs because I may want some logs for framing so I'll just use 10 see where that gets me in terms of fences and then A little bit more. That. 12, 15, 18 should be enough fences. And. Ooh, I don't want to use up my remaining iron, but if I get some shears, then I can just uh, use carpets to get in and out of the pen instead of using a fence gate. Hmm. A gate would be more realistic <laughs> for how you'd actually get in and out, but I do prefer the jumping onto a carpet on top of the fence method, just because it means you don't have to risk the animals getting out every time you want to jump in. I suppose there are three sheep around here. I only need two to get started, so that could be something. Let's see here. Well, let me build out the shape of the pen first. So I'll start it here. Bring it in. Ooh, not quite as much as I thought I had. Okay. Uh, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. I'm gonna leave that opening there. And I don't have any wheat yet, 
So I'm thinking I may just have to push push some sheep. <laughs> this is uh not quite ideal, but the sheep seem pretty seem pretty willing to be moved, which is quite nice of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, push push your friend in there. Go on in there. Don't you... Wow. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Well, that's perfect. You, I don't need you, so I'm going to... There we go. And I have some more mutton, which is good. And I need two wool to make carpet, of course. <laughs> oh, well, there's another one over there. Okay. Figuring this out, slowly but surely... Come over here. And there you are. So sorry. But I am going to have to kill you. It's not your fault. You did nothing wrong. I just need your wool and your meat. Plop that. Is there a center point? Oh, there's no middle. And I only get three fence posts per thing, so that'd be one too many. Oh, there's a middle one here. Good. And then I'll put another one there. And if you don't know this trick, if you put a carpet on the edge of a fence, you can just jump in and out, but the animals cannot. Hello. Yes. Hi. You're very adorable. The two of you shall make lots of sheep babies, and I shall shear you, and... Uh, I mean, eventually I'll kill some of you. But that's in the future, so don't worry about it, all right? Good. Let's see here. Don't really have enough materials to be going too crazy with shapes. So. And probably don't want to go that crazy with size. I'm going to need another axe if I'm going to do this. And I also need to sleep. All right. Let's see here. Get another axe going. And here. One, two, three, four. Three blocks. Four. Okay, how many are here? One, two, three, four, five. Little uh, four by six interior. That's not bad. That's not. That's not bad at all, is it? No. I mean, there's going to be plenty of room to uh, expand eventually later. Then again, that leaves no center point for a door. I could put the door on this side. Hmm. All right, so if I put the door... Well, I do tend to come up from this side. I could do a door, two doors here, double door here, and just have it be like a big <laughs> a hallway. I could live in a hallway. That sounds great. I could also double this. That's what, six? And then another plank or log. And then have it come out. Like this. Let's see where this gets us. I'm definitely going to need... A lot more wood. Oof. All right. Well. While I wait for this wheat to grow, I'm going to gather up some more wood so I can start building this home. So, while in the middle of gathering resources, <laughs> I just noticed these guys out there. Hello. Are you from that outpost? Oh, they must have noticed uh, all this activity going on here. Now, I don't have any armor. And uh, 
there haven't been any cows spawning around here. It's all been pigs and sheep. So, <laughs> with no leather and no iron, or at least not enough iron, to make any armor, I think, with nothing but my shield and a stone axe, I'm going to try to take care of this pillager troop. What's going to happen when they uh, don't come back and uh, their friends over there get a little bit worried? I don't know, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, luckily, there's no villages around here, at least that I've found yet, though I would like to find one. So I think I'm good to take care of them and not have to worry about it. So they all have crossbows. They don't look enchanted, so I'm not worried about them piercing through the shield. I want to like pick them off one by one, so I want to get this guy to just pathfind me. Before the other two. Because taking out one pillager. Man, it's taking you a while to like... Okay, now I can hear it. Hey, I'm just trying to get to my tree farm. All right. Oh, I can hear all of them. Okay. Now we run, now we run, now we run. All three of them noticed me. All three of them. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. They can run, can't they? They can run like nobody's business. Is it just you now? Did your friends abandon you? What? One hit? Okay. All right. Where are the rest of you? Are all of you going to be one hit? Or did that guy just fall a lot? <laughs> hey, now. Hey, now. Come on. Man, it takes you a really long time to pay attention to me. Come on. What is going on? Okay. All right, then. <laughs> Are you going to be an easy hit? Where'd you go? Critical hit. Oh! You took more than one hit. Okay. Voluntary exile. Bad omen for an hour and 40 minutes. Luckily... There's no villages, so I'm good. I just hope uh, their friends don't get angry. I got a crossbow out of it. And an ominous banner. Hmm. Maybe if I put it up on my base, they'll ignore me in the future. Because they'll just think I'm one of them, right? Ugh. I don't know. Feels wrong having that proudly displayed on my house. Maybe as more of a uh, trophy. A warning sign to the other pillagers. Don't mess with me. See what happened to the last guys? Their banners on my shield. Yeah, I think that'll do. Anyway, chopping down trees. That's what I was going to do. Let's, uh, let's get that taken care of, huh? Well, yes. It looks like this donkey here has grown enough that we could tame it. And tame it, I have. I just, uh, <laughs> I don't have a saddle for it. <laughs> uh, one day, I shall call you Doris. And Doris, I shall have... A saddle for you eventually uh, ended up getting the sheep bread and even the chickens bread so I have some more of them and uh, so far things are pretty good it just got done 
chopping down all the trees in the tree farm and replanting all the saplings a bunch more. So I no longer have to destroy the landscape just to get wood. And we're going to keep going on this little house structure. Now, originally, I wanted to have it split in the middle and go up with a tower, but I'm thinking it's going to be a better idea to have the tower sit on one side or the other. I kind of want to make the building look like a giant L shape instead of, we'll just say an upside down T shape. I thought that was a little bit too, I don't know, just not quite, not quite right. So that's what we're going to do instead. And let's see here, got some dirt. Gonna need a little staircase going up to these upper levels. And I got, hopefully, plenty more wood for this project. Uh, how high do I want to make the layers here? Ooh, you know what? I think I'll do, it'll come up. And then I, maybe I'll do like a row of stripped logs as the in-between layer. I think usually I'd use something like cobblestone or just leave the logs as they are. I mean, that doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look terrible. But if I strip these, I can't unstrip them. But whatever, we're going for it. Let's see how it looks. Ah. Uh, oh, you know, that's all right. Yeah. Yeah, that'll look good there. I think that's what I'll do. Oh. Very nice. Very nice. It's a little bit of a departure from, like, the classic Minecraft aesthetic, but it looks good. It adds a nice textural difference between what's going to end up being the two layers. And then I guess on top build a duplicate. Now, is this going to be the floor level? I think it's going to go here, half slabs here as the floor, and then it's going to be another level. So, like that. I don't like that somehow these doors are taking place of <laughs> where there should be a support beam, but it does look quite nice, so <laughs> we'll let it stay there. Oh yeah, you know, these are, uh, they're load-bearing doors. These basically just take the whole weight of the center beam. It's, cr it's great design. That's how you should build houses. Totally. 100%. Okay, so Oh, ooh, I just had an idea. What if the staircase is on this side and goes up here and then you enter? All right, let me, let, me look, let me go outside so I can show you. Staircase is there. Boop. Oh, look at that, another one. Staircase is there. You go up, you have to go out, enter through here, and then up a ladder, and that'll take you to, like, the top section. And maybe even... Do I want it to go up another layer above this? Or do I want this to be the top? I suppose I can always change it later. This this will be good for now, I think. And if all the roofs are flat and balcony, then that makes uh, roofing easy, because that's one of the areas that's always just really hard, is figuring out roofs. Hmm. So what kind of staircase do I want? I, I could just do a ladder. <laughs> could just make it much easier on myself. Have a ladder going here, go in there, ladder on this side that goes up to the top area instead of a staircase. I think with the resources I have now, and it just makes the most sense. Let's see what this does. This is enough ladderage. There we are. And I'll have double doors here, 
some fences around here. You'll come up. Hmm. Ladder over here? Or maybe two ladders going up. And this will be the tower where you can look out from. I feel like I should make it one unit taller. You know, like... So that's three blocks, and then it ends. Is that what this is? Three blocks, and then the end. Okay. Now pretty soon here, I can move this bed into the house. That would help. Oh, and lovely. The rain, and it stops. Because of course, it always stops raining when you sleep in a bed. Uh, I think I'll do a tower, a ladder here. I want like to keep symmetry going across these and then maybe i'll stick some trap doors above them just for uh keeping out the rain <laughs> yeah all right double ladder thing i can i can dig this this is cool do this 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 yeah And then I guess I'll do cobblestone slabs for like the top area. Maybe I should replace those with cobblestone slabs too. Or even just stone slabs, actually. Let me see. I do have quite a bit of cobblestone. And I have enough coal. Oh, there's already coal in there. I could cook up half of this. And get myself some smooth stone. I'll also need it for a stone cutter. If I'm gonna do stone slabs, I want a stone cutter so that I'm not wasting resources. And then how do I want to do the fence? I'll do like four little wood beams in each direction. Like that, that, that. That. You could technically jump off of that, but that should be fine, I think. <laughs> I can always do them too tall. Ooh, or I'll put slabs on top. Yeah. Ooh, I could put stone slabs on top. That's a good idea. All right, all right. <laughs> we're, we're getting somewhere. We're making some progress here. Doris, you liking what you see so far? This is the L Tower. Uh, it's because we're going to win in this season. I say this season, this series. You know what I meant. You, you know. Don't give me that look. Alrighty. Gonna eat up some food. Make up some more wooden slabs to take care of those floors upstairs. May also get some trapdoors for here. Though I also kind of want to do like an overhang, I'm thinking. Though I don't know, I kind of like it being more open. We'll see about that. Alright, here. Like this. Whoops, not like that. Oh, I didn't pick it up. And then the torches will go here. And up here. And then this is going to be the tower. Oh, you know what? I need to move this up one more block. Because this is going to be like this again. Right? Like this. And then that's going to be floor level. That's going to be stone slabs. I'll bring these up one. And then I'll need fences around each thing. And wow, I have just enough ladders. That was perfect. I love when things become accidentally perfect. It's always a good feeling. So I might rip out all of these slabs. I'll put these here. Nice. Slabs on top. Fence is there. I think something good is really cooking here. <laughs> it's 
check on our stone now. It's a shame to waste this iron that I could use on an iron pick, but I'd rather have a stone cutter. And we'll put that right near the head of my bed. So I can always be nice and alert when I wake up and wonder whether or not a blade is going to fly through my head. And from here... Okay, yeah, I need to smelt this again. Maybe I'll make another furnace. Help speed up this process. Let's go like that and like that. There we go. Because that's what I really want is the... Uh, the smooth stone. Alright, so I need fences. Gonna be here. Oops. Wrong key. There we go. 12. I could probably count out exactly how many I need. But I'll just go for 30. Why not? Yeah, this is something. Ooh. Oh, how many more? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I guess I'll also need some trap doors too, won't I? Did I keep any birch wood or did I? I used it all on sticks. Okay. Awesome. Couple trap doors. Oh, wait, this is going to use up all of my wood. Okay. I don't want to necessarily get into the tree farm yet. So I'll go and I'll take this little tree down here. Because. If I, I can't just take out one tree of that tree area. I have to take down the whole thing, and that's kind of too much of a process than I really feel like going through right now. Whoop. All right. Let those leaves despawn as they need to. Come back up here. Still need to find glass, but <laughs> that's going to have to be a next episode thing, I think. All right, take those like that. I only need six of them. Should need four trap doors. That's going to be one there, one there. Whoops. And then, ooh, where are these ones going to attach? I guess they can... <gasps> Forgot there wasn't a floor. We're good. Everyone's good. Oh, they can attach defenses. Okay. Well. All right, then. And I was supposed to be placing fences. Okay. Just close that. Stop the rain from getting in, you know? Wouldn't want... Wouldn't want any rain to get in here. Right. <laughs> uh, oh, and wasn't I going to put doors here? Yeah, it was. I should have one left. Oh, that's a shame. I'm going to have to make three more doors just to get two. Man, I remember when doors didn't stack like this. It used to just be like one door per slot. They weren't stackable. That was a long time ago. When did they change that? Like 1.12? Was that a Or was that like a 1.8 thing? That may have been 1.8, because I know they added new doors in like 1.7. But then they still didn't stack. Or maybe it was 1.7 when they made them that they could stack. I don't remember. But I think it may have been around that time that they made them stackable. All right, who here? Is anyone ready to be bred? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Um, 
That was interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. You, you saw that too, right? <laughs> Completely just like lagged out for a minute there. Nope, no more. Okay. And I'll stick the rest of that in there. Get these in here. Smooth stone slabs. The classic. Ooh, and I need to rip out this floor too, right? And now we'll come up here and do the same thing. Hopefully I have enough. Ten. Uh, probably not. Six more. So close. All right, I needed more than six because I still have to put some on the uh, the capstones there, there, like that, there, there. And for lighting, I guess I'll stick torches here. <laughs> I guess it creates a sort of visual symmetry with two and two on each side. I can't put them up here. That'll have to do. I'm not crazy about that. But if I do here, I need two in each corner and that'd be kind of a waste. So I think this is good. The lowest light level is eight from the blocks. Seven, did I see? Okay. That should be fine. No mobs are gonna spawn up here. But now, oh wait, I gotta look at this view. I can look out at my tree farm that is doing something weird over there. Is my tree farm giving me the finger? <laughs> Rude. You gotta be kidding me. I planted you. Maybe that's why it's mad. I brought it into existence. Ugh. Um, there's that taiga. The taiga valley. I think that's what I'm gonna call this. The taiga valley. Our neighbors over there who look to be perched on quite the precarious cliff there. Hmm. Well, that'll be interesting. We'll have to go visit them at some point. But I think for now, I think for now, that's going to have to call it an episode. I think next episode, we're going to try to get some glass so I can fill in these windows. But I think we're good. Let's, uh, let's get one last look. One last look at this before, before we go. Look at it from the outside with our noisy animals. Oh, yeah. Beauty and simplicity, right? So I think next episode, we're going to move all this stuff in, get some glass for the windows, and that'll be that. Uh, anyway, that's going to be all for me. I will see you all in the next episode. I hope you join me. Uh, if you liked this video, I hope you will leave a like on it. Uh, and if you want to see more of this content and uh, the rest of this series going forward, I would recommend clicking that subscribe button and uh, checking the notification bell so that you uh, get notified whenever I post a new video. And uh, with that, that's going to be all. I'm Casey from the iLog channel and uh, signing out. Bye now. Bye now.